the practice of pickling and preserving food has been around for a very long time. Archaeologists say they have found evidence of cucumbers being pickled dating back to 2030 BCE. And here in Manitoba, preserves are a staple for many during our harsh winters. When Louis Luna moved to Canada from Guatemala in 2004, he wanted to learn all things Canadian. Canning and pickling were top of his list. 18 years later, he is still doing preserves. Louis joins us from his home in Portage of Prairie. Hello there. Thank you very much for having me. You're welcome. What kinds of things are best to be pickling right now? Well, it is August, so there's a lot of cucumbers out in the fields and uh, also, you know, berries um, are getting ready. There is some uh, high bush cranberries coming in the fall and uh, you also have the choke cherries coming. So I'm looking forward to that. And what are some of the basics uh, someone needs to start pickling like you did? You know, I was actually introduced to pickling by a friend and I think that Pickling and canning is a, is a great way to make new connections, especially if you're new to the province. There's a lot of people out there that like canning, and I find that um, people like to share their knowledge too, you know? So uh, some of the things that you need to know when you start pickling, I guess, is uh, first of all, you know, pickle things that you like. Uh, don't go through the effort of pickling something that you're not gonna eat. So, and then gather your, you know, your pickling uh, canner, uh, your jars that you're gonna need, and maybe a couple of friends that know how to can and, and teach you how to. And what are some of the common mistakes that people make when they're pickling? Well, you know what, I I'll tell you some of the common mistakes that I've made. Um, when I started pickling, you know, of course, you know, you get all excited and sometimes you forget, you know, there's basics, you know, you really need to keep that rim around the jar clean to make sure that the lid that is going to seal the product is going to seal properly. That's, that's one. The other one is you need to make sure that that water, that bath water that you're going to immerse the jars into is hot enough like 220 uh, degrees Fahrenheit and that they boil accordingly to the elevation that you are at. Normally here in Manitoba, you know, we're, we're so flat that uh, between 11 and 13 minutes do the trick really well. Excellent. And very quickly, what's the difference between pickling and canning? Well, you know, um, pickling, you use um, an acid, in this case vinegar, right, to preserve something, and you pickle cucumbers, zucchinis, radishes, uh, carrots, and, and you only need to do it, you know, for a certain period of time. Of course, you know, if you're canning carrots, you need to pre-cook them a little bit, or you, they're going to have to be in the canning bath for a little bit longer. Um, and there are some really good recipes out there. But if you're gonna be pickling meats and, and other things, then you need, yourself, you need to get yourself a pressure cooker. And uh, there's a little bit more um, technical things to learn about uh, preserving meats and, and things that are low acid. Oh, Louis, sounds like we could learn more and talk more with you, but I wish we could try it. But that's all the time we have. Thanks for joining us, Louis. Louis Luna, uh, we reached him at his home in Portage of Prairie, and you can find out about him on Instagram at L-F-L-E-C-A. Thank you, Louis. Have a wonderful day. Happy canning.